Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about the 2017 Honda Accord Hybrid and how this system works. And what's pretty cool about this system, which I recently had the opportunity to drive and test out this vehicle, is that it has an engine that can drive the wheels but there is no transmission involved. So it's a hybrid vehicle that can directly uh, use the engine to power the driven wheels uh, but without using the hybrid drivetrain in that process and without using a transmission. And so similarly to the Koenigsegg Regera, which I also have a video on explaining its drivetrain and how that works, uh, has an engine which can drive the driven wheels. It is a hybrid and there's no transmission involved. So somewhat of a similar setup, but we're going to talk about exactly how this hybrid system in the Honda Accord works. So starting off, we have our engine. Uh, so we're just going to kind of go over the layout here and then talk about the different drive modes which it uses. We have our engine. That, of course, gives the input shaft to this entire system. Uh, and then you have this overdrive clutch. And so all of this is spinning with the engine in black. We have an overdrive gear, uh, which can be locked up using this overdrive clutch with the engine. We have a generator, which you can see is geared to the engine. Uh, and then eccentrically around that generator, we have our drive motor. And so you can see the drive motor is going to be powered by the battery. Battery sends energy to the power drive unit. That power drive unit sends that electrical energy to the motor, which then sends power to a counter shaft. And then that counter shaft uh, sends that to your differential and then you split that on your axle between your two front tires. So there are three different driving modes which this vehicle can use. Uh, kind of cool how different they are. So you can be in EV mode where you're just using the battery. Now this isn't a plug-in, so it's not a huge battery, but there are moments, for example, if you've just gone down a long hill, uh, you'll be in EV mode and you'll have recharged that battery so you can use all that energy. So you can be in EV mode or in like parking lots, things like that. And so in that scenario, you're just gonna take energy from the battery. It's gonna send it to your power drive unit, send that to the motor, the motor spins, rotates this counter shaft, the counter shaft rotates the differential, and you drive your driven wheels. Uh, and so the other mode you can be in is hybrid mode. So here you are going to turn on the engine, but you're only going to use it as a generator. So this clutch is still going to be disengaged, but you're going to be spinning this generator here, which will be sending power back to your motor and can send power to your battery if need be. Uh, so you're going to be spinning up that power uh, and sending it to your motor and so you can get your energy from two forms. So the battery's not that big, you use the engine as a generator and you send that power eventually to your drive motor which makes its way to the driven wheels. Now where it gets interesting is when you turn on the engine and engage the overdrive clutch. So if you are on the highway and you've reached a certain speed, somewhat of a high speed, uh, you can just use the engine to drive this system. Now there is no transmission, so you're not gonna be doing that at low speeds because of the gearing. So you've got the engine here, it'll lock up this overdrive clutch, which means you'll be spinning this overdrive gear, that's spinning this motor, that's spinning this counter shaft, and so you can see we've got the gear ratio here of 0.805 to 1 from this overdrive gear to our counter shaft, and then that's gonna pass through our differential and then to our wheels. So you can see in this scenario where the overdrive clutch is locked up that you're gonna be sending that power to the wheels and you're also going to be spinning these motors. And so as you're spinning these motors, you're gonna be sending that energy to the battery and storing that energy. So what happens is once this battery starts to get enough energy, you're gonna disengage this clutch and switch back to EV mode while you're driving on the highway. So you'll notice this while you're driving, the engine will be on, you'll be sending that power directly to the wheels, the battery will start to increase in charge, and once it gets high enough, you'll switch off this, uh, you'll disengage this clutch and shut down the engine, so you're not wasting any energy there, and just use the battery to power the wheels, and you'll just keep cycling between between those two modes as you drive down the highway, assuming you're at a high enough speed where you can lock up the engine and not worry about the gear ratio here. So one of the interesting things to look at here is how this is all geared. So from the overdrive gear to the counter shaft, we've got a gear ratio of 0.805 to one. And then from our counter shaft to our differential, we have a gear ratio of 3.421 to one. So if we multiply that across, our overall gear ratio of this system is 2.75. And if you look at the manual Honda Accord, the six speed manual Accord, it has a sixth gear ratio of 0.686 with a final drive of 4.105, which gives you 2.82. So this is a slightly taller gear ratio than the Honda Accord manual six speed when it is in sixth gear. So it's somewhat equivalent of being in an Accord that is in sixth gear. 
Now, interestingly enough, if you look at the Koenigsegg Regera and its uh, final drive ratio, it's 2.85. So very similar gearing uh, between the Honda Accord and the Koenigsegg Regera, though they both obviously have extremely different purposes. Um, but the point is, if you do not have $2 million and you want something with direct drive, you don't have to buy the Koenigsegg Regera. You can get all that in the Honda Accord. So thank you all for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below.